So in this tutorial, what I'm going to do is show you how to use a protractor, which is this half circle, uh, to measure an angle. So let's create an angle to begin with. So to make an angle, what we do is we intersect two straight lines. And uh, let's label this, this angle here by putting uh, the points that are important on this on, on the lines. And remember, we, we label points with capital letters. So let's, let's put an A, let's put a B, let's put a C. So this is angle, angle A, B, C. Now notice that um, the middle letter here in angle A, B, C is the angle's opening that we're interested in here, this yellow portion. Uh, so uh, essentially you need to make sure that it says A going to B and then B going to C so that we know exactly which section of the angle we're talking about. Now to me measure this, what we do is we take the protractor and the protractor has a flat line down here and has a line coming straight out of it uh, going perfectly upwards and it kind of looks like an upside down T over here and over here. And inside this little dome here, we want to line up uh, the intersection of this vertical and horizontal line uh, with the corner of our angle. So we put that smack in the middle of our angle. And we make sure that we make sure that the horizontal line here um, matches with the we with one of the two angles, uh, one of the two lines. In this case here it's the line BC that I'm going on top of with, with my horizontal uh, line and uh, what I do then is I count how many degrees fr starting from zero always starting from zero how many degrees upwards does my other line go to so it kinda looks like it's it's going to just about 50 so the lines a bit fat uh, so uh, it's hard to see, but it's, it's actually not quite 50, but it's close enough, so we'll say it's approximately 50 degrees. Close enough for us to say that this is a 50, it's, um, 50 degree angle, 50 degrees. Now, uh, what happens if I were to measure this, um, instead of using line BC as my starting off line, what if I used line AB? Well, let's, let's see how this works. We would we would have to take our protractor and line up uh, the horizontal line with the line AB. So we do that by turning it. And we do that until the line, the line overlap. And the lines overlap like this. We can then take this center piece here and put the corner of our, the corner of our uh, angle, which is corner B in the crosshairs. And now again, starting from zero, except this time the zero is on the outside, we, we go up, we read up, and it kind of stops right before 50. And so you can see that we get the same, same measurement. So it doesn't matter which line we start with, um, line AB or line BC, when we measure starting from zero up to the other line, in this case here we get a 50 degree angle. 